my name is Sutha Pisgon u n h a p i p a t Welcome all of you to my enhancing your presentation skill, and I think you will be better and better in your presentation after you have watched this video clip. Presentation is an important skill that you can use in your daily life, especially when you are a one of the organization members, not a student, right today. Presentation skill is the practice of showing and explaining the contents of a topic to the audience or learners. Presentations come in nearly as many forms as there are life situations. Students are first exposed to giving oral presentation in different grade levels. Some students are required to give an oral presentation as early as the first grade, while others may not give that. Our presentations until they enter college, regardless of the grade levels that you are working with in the business world. There are such presentation, informational and motivational presentations, first encounters, interviews, briefings, startup reports, image building, and training sessions. However, there are a few methods for teaching an oral presentations that. We assist making the training process successful. There are many reasons why your presentation fails. To begin with, speaking to the group or public speaking becomes the top fear of the presentations because the presenter may fear or be shy to the audience. The presenters must be confident by learning to speak with your body language because your actions speak louder than your words. When you are up in front of the audience and your adrenaline is flowing, diving you to free or fight to protect your vital organs, what feels comfortable is to cover your underbelly, to go into your body lap, put yourself into your audience place, and think about the hope, fear, and passions. Consider what your audience knows about and your message or cause. And what do they need to know in order to respond favorably to you, to act on your call to actions? Next is a s i g n a l that becomes the second top fear of the presentations, because when the presenters get sick, they will lack of self-confidence. The presenter may not get ready to give an oral presentations because of their pronunciation, fever. And so on. There are many steps or techniques to use to overcome the fear of making a mistake or looking foolish when you are speak to a group. A professional in any field does not have anything to chance before a big game. Important performance or critical presentations to cooperate executive strategies are laid out. All material are ready. Contingency plans are made, and every detail is taken care of. When you are well prepared, chance of failure or goof up are greatly reduced. You feel more relaxed and sure of yourself because you have all the best cover. The important thing is that you have an idea of what you are going to talk. Or write about this topic is usually a problem or concern that you wish to discuss. Instead of just reporting a situation or complaining about a problem, we are looking at providing some possible solution. That is, what the audience, your customer, or your supervisor at work want to hear about. The method of k e e t your speech is to simply follow the instruction and fill in the blanks. It is good to check over the condition under you which you will speak. If you can go up to the lecturer to check things over and get a feel for things, if you will use a microphone, just come to check it out before you will speak. In some situation, a person may simply make a presentation in a meeting room at work. 
even then it is good idea to check out the room beforehand and try to visualize how you will be doing things not that going to this process will actually relax and give you more confidence when it is your turn to speak second is practice you should practice your speech many times before you give it even if you know your material very well practice is extremely important because the more you give the talk the more automatically it becomes the more means it can have and the more the confidence you have in your ability to give the speech ways to practice around are for simply say the speech around. This is good to get the material more in gain in your memory. Say the speech, looking into the mirror. This is good to you because you must concentrate more. You also get an idea of how you look when you speaking. Finally, if you must refer to notes, all eye contact with your audience. An interesting trick is to say your speech while you're standing in the corner. The sound will reflect back to you, and you can get a good idea how you sound when you speak. Another way to practice is using a tap like corner. This forces you to avoid pressing too tight to remember things. It also allows you to pay the speech back to study how you sound and you are phrasing and the contents of your material. Practice before frame is a very important way to practice because it is getting closer to the real world of the speaking to a group even an audience of one person is good for this type of practice. To bring a wrong security blanket or safety net in case something goes wrong in your presentation, the main thing to worry about is forgetting what you were doing to say this. This might happen even if you have done extensive practicing of the speech. It is good to have your speech online on a few sheets of paper. You can refer to them in case you have a mental lapse. Before you know, it is very acceptable to an audience as long as you are not reading the speech word for words for his team. One thing that you have to accept in that over is that it reduces your anxiety about what you were going to say or having your mind go back. You never even use the cards, but the fact that you have them. The more important the audience or the occasions, the greater your fear can be. You don't want to look like a fool in front of the bosses at work, your peers, or even your friends or relatives. It is the important to be properly introduced the audience before you speak. It prepares them for your subject and shows your credential. Make sure you get a good introduction by giving the moderator a consist outline of the information about you. This will help the success of your speech or presentation. When you are introduced to speak, just take a beat to certain you down before you get out of your chair. Then when you go to direction, thank the person who introduced you and count to 10 before you start speaking. This will allow the audience to get certain and ready to hear you. It also is a way that you are showing that you are now in control. It is not easy to do because you have to look at the audience and panic may certain in. But if you have made all the preparations, 
you can be sure of yourself and deserve to be in control of this situation. It is a good feeling. for you to do in your presentation. Good luck in your presentation. Bye.